Good morning! I'm sorry that we're starting this vlog off with some not so, like, nice looking clips because they're from the old camera, the old, old camera, the SX700HS. This is the camera that we used back in 2014, I believe. So, good morning from 2014. This is a blast from the past. But I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing this morning. The other camera battery is dead, so I can't use the nice new big camera yet until it charges up. I'm sure the clips from later on will be from that camera and not from this camera. But I wanted to show you what I've been doing. I've been cleaning under the bed in our room. Whoa, those blinds made a super crazy shadow on my face. Pretty neat. So let me show you what I found. First of all, I was cleaning under this bed. I pulled out all of these boxes and guitars and luggage and I vacuumed all of those, but then I also vacuumed the ground under everything. And let me tell you, that was two and a half years of dirt under there. Gross. But while I was looking under the bed, I found a box full of old pictures. And I found this one of me and my Mickey. Do you remember these? It was like a, a bouncy ball. It looked like Saturn and you would like sit on it and bounce, I guess. But this is my Mickey one. Look at that, Hipster Mickey before Hipster Mickey. And here's me with my Mickey. I loved my Mickey. <laughs> oh, here's me with my dog growing up. Her name was Sheba. This is me and my first pair of mini ears. I thought that was pretty awesome, but look at this. This is what I actually wanted to show you is, look at that scary figure in the back. Isn't that scary looking? What is that? But yeah, mini ears. Oh, this I thought was amazing and I'm gonna totally post it next Easter, but that's me with the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> this is me in Liberty Square, like by the Liberty Bell, um, where they have those, the like locks. There's two of them where you can take a picture. So that's me as a kid. And this used to be at Disney World. There was like a playground. I don't remember exactly where this was, but I do know that it was at Disney. So there's a picture of that. And there's like large crayons, I guess, as part of the theming. So I don't remember exactly where that was. But yeah, so those are some pictures I found that I thought were kind of cute that kind of showed my like love of Disney as a young kid. And this one I just thought was really funny because I have my, my first pair of mini ears on and there's a scary ghost in the background. So what more could you really want, you know? Couldn't ask for anything more than ears and a ghost. And I actually still need to clean the other side here. So I'm probably gonna get started on that. There's the little bean. I just wanted to show you guys, I was taking a little break and eating some lunch and I wanted to show you the little bean. The little waggly tailed bean. Let me see your waggle tail. Yeah. That's my good boy. Very good beans. What about you? I just washed all the blankets and you're not even laying on the blankets. What the heck, little Moo Moo? So while these little lazy bums just lay around and act adorable, I will be cleaning the rest of the house. What are you doing? What do you, what do you think this is? You think this is dog, dog hangout time? It's not. Okay, it is. <laughs> I don't think I actually told you guys, but we have some guests staying with us this, not this weekend, but the following weekend, but we will be seeing them this weekend. So I'm trying to get the house like all set and ready to go for them. The guest bedroom is all good to go. However, the rest of the house needs a good cleaning. So I don't know why I started with the under my bed. Do you ever do that? Do you ever like have something you'd have to do? You like give yourself a goal, I have to have this done by this time or this date or whatever. And then you start with the most random thing that doesn't help you achieve your goal at all. So like I needed to clean the upstairs bathroom because it's the only bathroom that we have right now. And I needed to clean the guest bedroom, like bed laundry and stuff. And what was the first thing that I did? I already told you, so I would say guest, but you already know. Um, the first thing I did is I cleaned under my bed. That's right, I took everything out from under my bed. I'm not even done with it yet, actually. I still need to finish the other half, but that's the first, do you ever do that? Do you ever have a, a thing that you need to do and then you start like cleaning your neighbor's pool instead of doing the thing that you need to do to accomplish your goal? Yeah, maybe you don't clean your neighbor's pool. That was a bad example, but you get what I mean. You do something that totally has nothing to do with the thing that you need to do because you're like, oh yeah, I'll do, I'll do this first. Why do we do that? What's up with that? <laughs> I was outside sweeping the pool and look who came to say hello. Here she is. Oh, she's such a lover. She is too cute. She's very curious about these carnivorous plants which are not growing. But we just got a letter from one of you guys saying that you had a little kitty that looks just like Abby 
and she totally did. You guys sent a picture and they were like twins. So here she is. Just wanted to give you guys a little update on little baby Abby. I love her so much. She's like the cutest little cat. She's so adorable. She looks like a kitten. Oh, butthole. But she's very much not a kitten, but she forever looks like one. So yay. Okay, so it is sometime significantly later, but I have made dinner. We're doing some veggie pasta, rotini, I believe. And then we've got some portobello mushrooms, like sauteed up with some onions and garlic sauce. I'm gonna put some garlic bread in the oven and we're gonna have a salad. And guess who's home? Hey everybody. I was just gonna take them outside to show them what you were doing. Oh, it's scary out there right now. Why? What does it look like? Pool's all green from the stuff I put in. Oh no. So I followed the instructions precisely. It's like use chlorine and then to use this stop yellow stuff, which is killing the mustard algae. And they said to activate, put in chlorine. So I did that and it like turned everything green. So hopefully it'll like be green for a little bit and then everything will go away. We'll see. Hopefully. I hope that's what happens. It turned green real fast though. Hey mambo, we're eating Italiano. I cannot wait. This is just like a Caesar salad and a delicious, delicious uh, spaghetti type thing. And I don't know why, but like all of Jen's makeup is right there. So I know that you guys know that we record everything that we do. Like every day of our lives we've recorded and I wanted to show you guys, I had to buy another hard drive, an external hard drive, because we save everything. I want to show you our collection of hard drives. It's pretty ridiculous. So here's where we started out. I'm fairly confident that this was two terabytes. This one was also two terabytes. This one was three. This one was four. And the new one is five. So if we add that up, we're going on 15 terabytes of video once I fill this one up. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of video. On a side note, as I was going through the drawers, I found Jen's old iPhone. That's an iPhone 4. Look at that compared to the iPhone 5, 6. Like, it's so tiny. It's like a little baby phone. Like, it's like, it's so small. Also found this iPhone. I think this is the 3S, maybe? I don't know. It's very uh, old. So since we're on the topic of hard drives, I figured I would open this one up so that you guys can see what it is and what it's all about. This is a Seagate expansion, five terabyte hard drive. The last hard drive that I had, I had to format specifically for Mac because most of them are just sold for PCs. Oh yeah. It says that it's only good for Windows. So I'll have to format this one and then I can use it on the Mac. So yeah, let's open it up. So here's what I like. It says fully recyclable package and it comes with a one year warranty, which is really nice of them. But that is not recyclable, is it? Maybe it is, I don't know. But yeah, it's it blows my mind that ugh, this is it. Like this is five terabytes of data that can be stored on this little teeny tiny thing. That's amazing to me. The only other thing that comes in it, I wish that companies could make packages that were easier to open one-handed. So the only other thing that comes in it is the power supply and a high-speed USB cable, which is like a SATA. That's it. That's everything in the package and the instructions. So I'm gonna hook it up and format it and then we'll be good to go. We'll have five terabytes of storage available to us. There you go. You guys are always asking for some of the magic behind the vlogs, like behind the scenes. There it is. I've like back everything up. It's like my life. Right now I'm transferring 88 gigs of video onto that new hard drive. What, what? Yeah, good times, right? Let's check out the pool, see how it's doing. Hey there, Abby. I came outside to show them the pool and there you are. Look at that. There's the pool. It's doing a little bit better. Like. You can still see the bottom and everything, but yeah. So, hey, Abby, how you doing? Want to say hello to everybody? Yeah, you're a little baby kitty. Although you're not a baby. You're like a full-grown adult kitty. We still like that you're a baby kitty. Oh, she's like trying to dig her claws into my foot. Yeah, get that hose. No, nope, don't get my foot. No, no, don't get my foot. Nope. Oh, super sharp. This is gonna be like 30 minutes of me petting Abby and hoping she doesn't fall in the pool. But also this sunset and there's birds or bats or something. And there's still a cat like following me around. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Holy macaroni. Now that's a sunset and that's a cat. So she's like an outdoor cat and I always get so concerned when she rolls over on her back like that, that she's gonna like try to like claw me with them crazy looking claws of hers. She got a little playful and then she like clawed me and ran away. So, hooray cats. So after we did our little opening up of our hard drive and I transferred over the files, 
went out and checked on the pool. Pool's looking really good. It's kind of dark to see. I'll show you guys in just a minute what it looks like, but it's like you can see through the shallow end, but we have a light in the deep end, and the light still kind of has some haze around it. I'm excited to see what it'll look like in the morning. I think it's going to be crystal clear tomorrow. At least I hope it will be. After we cleaned the pool, or after I did the hard drive thing, we did like the most Floridian thing ever, and cleaned our air conditioner in our bedroom. Yeah, that's exciting, right? Because air conditioners like are constantly sucking air and we've got dogs, so there's a lot of hair in the air. There's a lot of moisture because that's what air conditioners do is they draw moisture out of the air by chilling something and then it condensates on it and then it blows. So the way an air conditioner works is basically you take Freon and you compress it down and that makes it hot. Because like when you're compressing something, it's hot. And then you poke it through a tiny pinhole and then expand it really quickly. And expanding it cools it down, just like clouds. And then you run that through copper coils and aluminum fins, and the coldness from the Freon is transferred to the copper coils and the aluminum fins, and then you blow air across that, and that's how you get cold air. The reason that they're wet, like air conditioners are always wet, air handlers, that's the part where the expansion happens, not the compressor, the compressor outside where the compression happens is hot. The air handler where the expansion happens is wet and cold because the pipes are cooled down by the Freon expanding and then the water condensates, the water in the air, all the humidity condensates on the fins and then drips down them. So that's why you have water dripping out of the back of like window unit air conditioners or your air handler that's in the closet for your main air conditioner has a drain line that leads outside that's constantly dripping. It's because it's sucking water out of the air through condensation. Science! Let's go look at the pool. So you can kind of see what I was saying. Like, you can see into the pool here. That's the step. And if we go down to the deep end, it's blurry. You can see the drain in the bottom of the pool. So that's a good sign. Like, I can see to the bottom and see the drain. When it's so clear, I can really see the drain. Like, I can see detail in the drain. This just kind of looks like a round circle. So I'm really hoping that tomorrow morning it will be totally clear. So during the live mail vlog, we got some Pocky. Poke? Poke? Yeah, we got some, some Japanese sure. like stick candy type things. And we put it in the refrigerator and it came out as a pokesicle. <laughs> There's like, it's just one solid piece. So. It had sticks on the bottom so it really looked like a popsicle. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> I just tried to pick it up by the sticks and they all broke off. So Jen's gonna hold a plate underneath me while I eat. Oh no. Oh no. My poke circle. Yum! <laughs> I want some. And as you guys know, that was a lot of stuff for me. So it was like work and then coming home and we'll clean the pool and we clean the air conditioner. I'm exhausted. I know it's not quite 10 yet, but I gotta go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>